that if then formats really flexible, but some kinds of rules, there's better ways to represent the rules graphically. So JRules also has decision tables and decision trees. Decision tables are rules that are represented in rows and columns. So the decision table tends to resonate really well with business users who are used to thinking in terms of rows and columns. But for our, for our scoring rule, we're going to use a decision table. And what I want to look at um, is whether the borrower, borrower is self-employed, as well as how long the borrower has been on their current job. And we'll create a score based on ranges of values. So I'm going to call this score by stability. And much like the if-then rule, there's conditions and actions. We're going to create a condition, and we're going to look at if the applicant of the request is employer. And this essentially tells us if they're self-employed. So, so that's one. And then the second is we'll look at how long they've been in their position, so the job seniority of the applicant. All that um, months in position. Uh, what I want to do here is I want to look at ranges of values. You can see here that I'll be able to specify a, a min and a max for the months in the position. And then I'll create an action column. And so what I'll do in the, in the action column is I'll set the score. So set the score of the result to some value. Now, let's, let's start writing our rule. So I'll start with people who are, who are not self-employed. And I'll just start creating some values here. So I'll look at people between uh, 0 and 36 months. Then I'll, I'll add a few rows here, 36 to 72, and then I'll do greater than 72. And what I'll do for greater than is I'll change the operator here to greater than, greater than or equal to 72. And then I'll set some scores, 20, 60, 80. So what we're, what we're saying here is, and, and as I mouse over, it gives me the if-then format of the rule. If the person's not self-employed, uh, and they've been in the position between 0 and 36 months, I'm going to give them a score of 20. And then likewise for the other rows. Um, and the decision table also does some other checking for me. So it's looking for logical completeness. It's looking for uh, gaps and overlaps. And if I mouse over here, I can see that it has a, it's found a gap. And so what I'm going to do, what I can do is I can right click on that, and I can add all of the domain values. I can add one. There's only one other value, and that that be true. Is this can either be true or false. So it it saw that this rule was incomplete, and it, and it gave me uh, the option of having it corrected for me. And so now I'll, I'll specify some values for the people who are self-employed. So these decision tables are uh, really powerful. They really resonate with business users, and they're easy to build. If you want to learn more, you can go online at www.ilog.com.